So a lot of people always ask me the question, how do you get your shoes for retail, bruh? I mean, this is insane. Like I never get lucky. I always am struggling. Today, I got you. I'm gonna tell you about all the steps that I take on how I get dope shoes for retail, even regular drops, whatever it may be. So go ahead, take some notes, sit back, relax. Let's get into this video. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, bro. You done watched a couple videos already. You seen my face before and you still ain't hit the subscribe button? Come on, bro. Smash the button, join the family, drop a comment down below. Let me know that you are now new to the family. If this is your first time seeing a video, what's up with you? How you doing? So let's go ahead and get into this video, bro. I am excited to talk about this topic just because I know not just me, but each and every one of us sneakerheads out there in this world of the sneaker kingdom, we all trying to get our shoes for retail or under retail or whatever it may be. So I'm gonna talk about how to get your shoes for retail today. All right, step number one. Now this one is very, very important. Now the reason why I say this one is so, so important because to me I feel like it's all about who you know and how you can get things and why I say that is because you got to network if you don't network when you're trying to be a sneakerhead it's just gonna be so much harder if you know more people if you know owners of shops if you know people that's doing private parties special releases any things like that when it comes to these rare drops that's your ticket in sometimes you never know who it is that has the plug on what or whatever it is but nine times out of ten, if they're interested in sneakers, I guarantee you they probably know somebody that might know somebody that knows somebody that one day down the road, they're able to get that random rare shoe that they didn't want and you now want. And the reason why I'm saying build your network is not just to use people, but also to create lifelong friendships. You never know. You might come across something like I'm a size 13. Say I came across something size 11 and I'm like, hey, I know the homie that might want this shoe so I could slide it to him and he could get the plug on it because it just wasn't for me now I know we all want to get these rare shoes for ourselves but sometimes it might be better just to plug the homie because you never know they might be able to plug you down the road as well and the next thing you know you getting that other rare shoe that you wanted and you couldn't get it and they got it you know what I'm saying you get the memo let's take it to step number two this one pertains to educating yourself and understanding what's going on around you and that is finding release news and how do you do those things First thing I'm gonna say is go to social media platforms. So that's gonna be places like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, things like that. When you find different people like me on YouTube or somebody else that has information for you that they can give to you about where to get stuff or how to get it, all these different things, take advantage of those platforms. Dive into different links that you see on Twitter and find feeds and places to follow and things like that. I'm gonna link different things down below in the description on channels that you should be following and Instagrams and Twitters and all those different things. So that way you can get more information from those places and they'll be dropping more stuff for you. So that way they can send you a direct link or whatever it is, hey, this shoe's dropping on this date or this date got pushed back. These are now gonna be coming out here. Or this is the store that they drop at or whatever it may be. Make sure you take advantage of those locations. And then you wanna go to sneaker blogs. I'll have a list of sneaker blogs down below as well. And what I mean by sneaker blogs is they're gonna pertain specifically towards sneakers and blogging about the topic. Whenever a new shoe is premiered to the public, nine times out of 10, the sneaker blogs are gonna get the information first they're gonna take the photos they're gonna find any leaked photos and they're gonna post pictures about it say hey this shoe might be coming out in the summertime or whatever it may be and when the summertime comes around nine times out of ten they're probably gonna already have that release information saying hey this shoe releases on July 14th and go here for this information and click on this link to go to this store to enter this raffle and all these different things. Unfortunately, it's not just easy to be like, oh, I'm about to go cop some shoes for retail. That's my number one method, honestly, of keeping track of just what's going on. There's so many releases, brands, and all these different drops. Everything's been kind of on hold with what's happening right now, but I guarantee you with all these release dates getting pushed back, there's gonna be a lot of stuff dropping and there's gonna be a lot of dope stuff that people want to cop so make sure that you stay tuned for that stuff and understanding hey this release date was then and now it's now so how can i get it step number three now this one right here is the direct to consumer right we understand we just did our research we know where all the stores are that are going to be getting the shoe we made our phone calls we've done everything that we needed to do and now we want to go to the big headed monsters who's going to have the most pairs where are they most easily accessible those are the factors you want to come to next so when it comes to that who has the most pairs and who's going where? Nike and Adidas, Jordan brand, Yeezy, whatever you want to call it. They fall under two different umbrellas. But let's start with Nike first. 
So everybody knows Nike has what? Sneakers app. If you haven't already, download that app. That's where you can get the latest and greatest. It's a very hard time sometimes. On the very limited drops, they do raffles instead of first come first serve. A lot of people have different emotions when it comes to sneakers app. I'm probably assuming the same thing with Yeezy Supply. We'll talk about that one in a second. But we can talk more about sneakers app in another video and I can break down the whole checkout process and the fastest way to do it and all that. If you guys want that, drop a comment down below and let me know if you guys want that. But staying on topic, we have Nike, sneakers app, nike.com. That's where you can buy different shoes and then obviously in person at the store. So then you have to go to the store and figure out, hey, what is the Nike store doing? What are, you gotta call in, hey, what are, you know, are you guys doing a raffle? Are you guys doing first come serve? Do I need to come a week early? Every store, every city has different rules. So the best thing I can say is call up your stores locally and understanding where can you get it. If you have no stores in your city, your best bet's gonna be online or a friend that you know that lives in a city that does have a store and that comes back to step number one with networking because if you have a friend that doesn't want the shoe, call them up and be like, hey bro, I need you to pick up this shoe for me. All I'm saying is, you can definitely call up a couple of homies in different cities because sometimes I gotta call a homie in LA and be like, hey bro, I need you to slide over there and snag that for me because I know it's only out in LA. I'm in Portland right now, which is a whole nother topic, but sometimes you gotta do that. But let's take it to the Adidas topic now. Yeezy supply, everybody wants Yeezys. Everybody loves Yeezys. As you know on this channel, you don't see Yeezys that often on this channel just because I'm not a fan of them like that. To go you ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. All that extra stuff. I like Nike Yeezys. That's me. I don't like Adidas Yeezys. It is what it is. That's where I'm at. But anyways, on a whole another topic, I'm getting off topic because I already know I got to explain myself because people are just going to be mad that I don't like to wear Adidas Yeezys. But anyways. Yeezy Supply is a website that you can go and get Yeezys from. Obviously, adidas.com, those are some other options. A lot of people wanna get the more limited stuff, so they go for Yeezy Supply. And again, you always need to be on places like Twitter and different places like that to see where other people are dropping information. Hey, they're about to be doing a secret drop at this time. Or whatever it is that's going on, keep your ear to the streets and understand what's going on around you because you don't wanna be the one where you get on Instagram 30 minutes too late just randomly not paying attention to your phone and then you look and everybody's like, oh, I just got the shoes. And you're like, damn, bro, I missed out. I didn't even know. You don't want to do that. Keep asking questions. Keep talking to people. Keep looking for answers. So within that same category of all this stuff, it comes to apps and different places where you can enter into raffles through an app or a website and different places like the Flex app, which is done by Foot Locker and different places like that. So I'm going to have links to different apps as well and information for those but you really wanna dive into the apps and take your chances because sometimes you might be able to enter a raffle on an app and be able to go pick them up from your local shop that's at a, you know at the mall or whatever. Why not try? If you're trying to get shoes, you might wanna try. The worst thing you could do is download the apps and not at least try. It's free to try, it doesn't hurt you to enter a raffle, right? So go ahead and enter the raffles for your local shops and don't be always complaining. I never win the raffle. I never win the raffle. Well, you're definitely not going to win if you don't enter. So at least just try. It's not going to hurt you. That's not your only option. I guarantee you right now, there's no way you could just try one avenue to get a pair of shoes for retail and expect it to work every single time. I get a lot of shoes for retail or under retail, and I have not got every single one of my pair of shoes from the same direct source. They always have to come from different ways and different people and different stores and different, you always gotta network, you always gotta get stuff from different ways. So be open-minded and understand, hey, you can't win them all, but you definitely gotta try. Another big thing is when it comes to the raffles, now nine times out of 10, the raffles happen at a store and then they say you got to pick up the shoes by uh, 1 p.m. or 6 p.m. or whatever it is you want to go in and get in line at that store or do whatever it is that you can if you lost and see if you can wait for that 1 p.m. time slot so just in case a raffle winner didn't win you could be that first person to buy first come first serve right there so you got to check your city and understand like what are the rules at my stores how do they function? How many people are gonna come out for this release? Everything varies depending on the release as well. So it's hard to say specifically, oh, you need to go this many hours early or whatever it is. Because I couldn't tell you. Every city's different, every shoe is different, every release is different. These are all variable things that are happening when it comes to shoe releases. Even if you get a random size and then trade it up for your size, sell it to buy another pair in your size, whatever you gotta do, 
That way you at least got the shoe for retail and then you can make moves from there. Okay, step number four. Now this one, again, I think is, I don't know, all these steps are very important. That's why I'm telling you everything. But step number four is important to me because I feel like as you increase your odds, you have a higher chance, right? Because that's just kind of like anything, right? So what I'm saying is, increase your odds ask people around you that are willing to help you people that are willing to also wake up at 7 a.m or 11 a.m or whatever time it is in your city to jump on sneakers app or try to buy them on this website or whatever it is enter this raffle for me and go pick them up and i'll pay you whatever it is get more people to help you out the bigger net of people that you have around you that's willing to help you out bro i'm telling you right now it's gonna be a crazy thing. That's how I got two pair of Travis Scott ones for retail off of sneakers app because I had three people try and two of us hit. And it was funny because I hit and I was like, hell yeah, let's go, I got them. And then I just got another text right after that and it's like screenshot, got them. And I'm like, bro, I got two pair, this is crazy. I feel like Nelly for a minute, yeah. Stop it. And sometimes you don't win at all, even with all the people, but sometimes you might strike and get you know, two or three or whatever it is and get multiples and be like, damn, bro, I really just came up. So I know that was a lot of information to take in. I know there's a lot of things to talk about and I can't touch each and every store and each and every shop. But if you have specific questions to any of those things that I broke down out of those four topics, go ahead and ask me down below and then I'll try to get a more in-depth video. That way we can have more information for you guys as well. And again, I'm gonna drop as much as I can down below in the description so you guys can do your research, find places to get more information and things like that. I hope this was helpful. Again, I really want you guys to get shoes for retail and get them for that great price that you're always trying to get them for because I understand how the game goes, bruh. I've been doing this for a long time, over 10, what, 12, 14 years now or something like that. I've been doing it for a long time. I understand how it goes. I've seen the evolution of sneaker collecting and how to buy shoes. It used to be you didn't even need to camp out. You could just go buy the shoe. And then it was like first come, first serve. And then it was like, oh, you could buy six pair. And then it was like, oh, you could only get two pair. And then it was like, damn, I ain't even gonna be able to get a pair. Now it's like these raffles and all this stuff. I understand, bro. I feel you on this whole system and how everything works. Because I'm telling you right now, the more hands in, the higher chances you're gonna have to get that shoe that you want. So with that being said, my name is DJ. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You already know what it is. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm signing out. I'm gone. Peace.